One of the places I was particularly interested in um, was the uh, great, what's called the Great Dismal Swamp. It's a gigantic uh, piece of property. Escaped slaves would go there for sanctuary, just the most awful place in the world. It just, it was filled with venomous snakes and uh, wild animals, and it was a swamp. It was nothing but water. They formed um, compounds, and actually they, they had schools and churches, and they had uh, currency, and they had commerce. And they, they lived in these communities in the center of the dismal swamp where the slave catchers couldn't find them and wouldn't find them. The slave catchers wouldn't go into the dismal swamp because it was so dreadful. The way that they solved this problem <laughs> of the escaped slaves um, surviving and indeed thriving in the dismal swamp was to burn the swamp down and the slaves. Um, and th this happened frequently. So the swamp was lit on fire many, many times um, and burned to the ground. And when I went there, interestingly, it was burning again, uh, but this time the fires over vast swaths of property were caused by, um, the, or compounded by climate change. Um, and that's, that's what I photographed for this uh, pre picte uh, submission. Not to be Pollyanna-ish about it, but on the bright side, when I returned to the Dismal Swamp um, and my most recent trip, there were little green shoots coming up everywhere and these little tiny tenuous vines just starting up the trees. And I have to say it did give my heart a momentary lurch of hopefulness.